Hey, hey, happy people. So today we're going to try to make some crackers to go with my ceviche. So to get started here, I have, this is two cups of chickpea flour. This chickpea flour has been sifted because you know chickpea flour, you know it clumps up really easy. And if you add your liquids before it's sifted, it is hard to get the clumps out. So I have sifted my chickpea flour here already in this bowl. Two cups. All right, and then in this little bowl here, does my camera sit straight? Nope. This little bowl here, I have, this is the uh, alkaline nutritional yeast. This is about a third of a cup. MrStayHappy.com, if you don't know where to get it, it is an alkaline version of nutritional yeast. And then I have here, this is a half a teaspoon of sea salt. So... I'm just going to add that. Then in this little bowl here, I have, this is a, a tablespoon and a half of the alkaline uh, Italian seasoning. This is going to give us a little flavor here. This has no rosemary. This is why it's called the alkaline Italian seasoning since rosemary is not considered an alkaline uh, herb. You can get this again at Mr. Stay Happy. MrStayHappy.com, your alkaline pantry needs. Alright, so got about a tablespoon and a half here. And we're just going to mix all this up together first. Get our dry ingredients all mixed up. Alright, that's all mixed together. So now, in this bowl here, I got some avocado oil. This is one fourth of a cup of avocado oil. And I'm going to put about four tablespoons of water in there. I may need more, so that's why I brought quite a bit. Alright. You all already know with the flowers, you may need more, you may need less. But about four tablespoons to start off. Alright. And then I'm going to pour this in here. I'm going to make. Get this all mixed up till we get a nice little dough here. It's not going to be a uh, very smooth dough. Well, it may be smooth, but it is not going to be a very soft dough. It's going to be something we're going to have to work on here. Again, remember, do not add extra water till you have incorporated your liquids very well. Give it time to absorb because chickpea flour and things like that do not absorb liquid as fast as the... Uh, what would be your self-rising flowers and baking flowers, things like that. So I'm just going to try to smash that, get as much of the dough here crumbly. Got a nice little dough ball here. So now we're gonna move this over here. I got a little flour here. Gonna dump out a little flour onto my mat here so I can roll this out a little bit. Maybe not as much. So I'm going to try to make this into a rectangle shape. So to make baking a little easier. I'm flatten this out into like a rectangle shape. Try to anyway. Alright, 
All right, I'm just going to keep rolling this to get a thin cracker like size. the size I want there so now I'm gonna go get my baking sheet and a knife so I can cut this all right so I got my uh, baking sheet here it is lined with parchment paper here and basically we're just gonna cut these any size you want just gonna line my baking sheet with them My oven is already preheated to 350 in case I did not say that. Come here, like this. Little end pieces that are breaking up, you can pretty much just put them with the other and roll it out again. So now, I'm going to roll out the rest of my dough here, so I'll be right back. Y'all don't need to see this part. Y'all see me roll the uh, first pan. Alright, so I have rolled out all my crackers and put them on the tray here. So now I have a little bit more avocado oil. We're just going to brush a little bit across here. Just a light brushing, you don't need to saturate them. Alright, everybody has a little oil. So now, just a little sea salt. Go on top. ready for the oven again my oven has preheated to 350 this is going to go in the oven for about 15 minutes I would definitely put a timer for 10 minutes and then check then because the outer ones are probably going to be done before the ones in the middle or if they're a little denser than the others whichever ones is the lightest is going to be done first so 10 minutes first and then start checking like every two minutes or so just to keep an eye on it so they don't burn so 15 minutes I'll be right back through all right people I am back it has been about 15 minutes and my crackers are all done here. Let me show y'all. You can see those on that end got a little darker, but those are pretty good. But yeah, crackers. Mm-hmm. A cracker. This is gonna go good with my ceviche. Mm. Mouthful talker. crackers for soups dips sauces whatever today this is going to go with my ceviche so that is it people i'm ready to go eat my ceviche have a seat watch a movie um until the next video stay happy